On our Italian trips, we uh, endeavor to choose different menus on the different occasions when we're traveling around the country to reflect the different cuisines of the different regions of Italy because uh, Italy has a very varied cuisine and so we do have special features like the highlight dinners or the be my guest meals which could be in a private home or a castle and so our guests do get to taste uh, different uh, types of Italian food Well, one of my favorite trips with Trafalgar has got to be the grand Italian experience. Uh, I love all of them in Italy and other places in Europe where we go to, but that one is a particular favorite and uh, simply because it takes in a lot of places in my country and therefore uh, people get a wonderful introduction of the length and breadth of the country, and differing scenery, mountains, dramatic coastal areas, uh, very pretty countryside, uh, cities, villages, off the beaten track places. There's something for everyone. For a great glimpse of Italy, I feel that uh, you should travel here for as long as possible. I may be biased. Uh, but I do feel that the longer you have, then the longer trip you should choose. All of them, even the short ones, give you an excellent introduction. But obviously, the longer uh, time that you have to spend in Italy, um, the more you get uh, the best glimpse of the country. The best months to travel and to be able to wear a T-shirt, to be comfortable walking outside, get a good night's rest, etc., uh, would be the months of May, June, and then uh, September and October. July and August are rather hot. You may want to look at the spring though, and you would need a light jacket. Uh, the months of March and April would be fabulous. And then of course we also have the winter, but there you'd need a coat. My favorite attraction to take guests to, well, actually, um, I'll just speak of one because I have so many, it's really hard to decide on just one. Um, the Grand Canal of Venice, I suppose, is one of my favorites to take guests to on gliding up the canal on taxi boats and seeing the stunning Venetian architecture. And for my guests, it's probably the first time that they've seen a floating city. And even though one has imagined Venice, uh, it's hard to picture it really and truly until you're there and seeing how it all works. Um, but the wonderful introduction that the trip up the Grand Canal gives us uh, totally mesmerizes people. And I sometimes see tears in the eyes of uh, particularly our ladies. And everyone is taking pictures and just generally in awe of the beauty of the place. I would have to recommend Rome because of the grandeur of the place. It's an open air museum, absolutely, uh, because you get uh, thousands of years of history. And so you have the ancient Roman monuments uh, like the Colosseum, Palatine Hill, uh, Circus Maximus area, the Forum, uh, then you have the stunning medieval area such as Trastevere. Uh, then you have the wonderful Baroque churches and um, buildings right up until the 1900s. Uh, it's also a very green city and the banks of the river Tevere, the Tiber, it's great to walk around there as well. And there's something for everyone, let's say. When we go to the Amalfi Coast, actually, uh, we're mostly driving. So we also stop for photos um, at salient viewpoints. And when we go and visit Positano, although there's some walking to do when we get off our vehicles, uh, it's really up to our guests how much or how little they walk. Because where we get dropped off, there are shops, cafes and restaurants. 
if we're going to Amalfi Town, then that's basically quite flat. And also, once again, we drop off very close to the centre, so it's really not an issue if somebody has mobility problems. I often recommend risotto because it's a dish that's very versatile. It can be vegetarian, uh, it can be with meat or fish. I particularly like the seafood variety and we have different types of risotto according to the different uh, regions. So it gives people a chance to try uh, the way that we cook rice in Italy. There have been many special and favorite moments. Um, I remember at the end of a 21 day trip in Italy, we were finishing in Palermo. We were at our farewell dinner and then all of a sudden after dessert, three people get up and start singing. They were professional singers. But then for the chorus, everyone else got up to sing as well, dedicating the song to me. And so it was very emotional for everyone but particularly for me, and so that's uh, something I'll never forget. <laughs>